What's up, Nightwalkers? Today, I'll be going over this infrared laser illuminator, the Luna Elir 3. There are different Elir models. Uh, this one, the 3, comes with a Picatinny rail mount, which is obviously uh, ideal for weapon mounting it. And uh, these lasers are, in my opinion, uh, one of the best kept secrets when it comes to infrared illuminators. Uh, and the reason why I say that is the, they come with a filter. Um, I already pre-loosened this one. Uh, but basically, there's a, a filter on it that reduces its output from uh, full power strength uh, to civilian legal iSafe uh, power levels. Uh, there's a set screw that holds this filter in place and, um, and the same Allen that you use to adjust the windage and elevation settings on the laser um, you use to remove the set screw. And then the filter just unscrews from the laser. And once this thing's out, um, you basically have a full power uh, laser, uh, which is really nice. And it also has an adjustable um, beam pattern on it so you could make it as tight as you want into like a pointer as well as widen it out um, for, a, for a wider illumination type circle. Now the, uh, the image of it, it does have some spots in it uh, which a lot of lasers do uh, but you can still make stuff out very well and then there's a power uh, potentiometer knob on it. Uh, so you know this way's off and then you can dial the intensity of the, of the laser strength um, to like you know incredibly bright levels and then having the ability to adjust the beam um, is quite nice. And so the reason that laser illuminators are better than LEDs, so for example, if I had this thing turned on next to this table, uh, I'm gonna get very little um, splashback or, or almost none at all. Whereas with an LED, you know, it'd be lighting up quite a bit of this table and I'd have a lot of splashback. Uh, so that's a nice thing uh, to this illuminator plus the windage and elevation adjustments on it. Um, you can also buy a um, adapter piece for the back. So for example, you know, right here, I'll unscrew uh, the rear knob. You know, this is just a push button uh, for momentary or, or solid on, um, you know, uh, power for the laser. And then you can get an adapter, get it out of here. You can get an adapter that goes on the back of it and it's a Surefire adapter. So this threads on to the, to the Luna and then you could take something like this uh, Surefire adapter or a, you know, tail cap, screw it on. And now I can run this thing off of a dual pad. Uh, so that way, if I, let's say if I'm using something like a, uh, like an I2 or something without an illuminator um, for an infrared laser, um, I could run it on a dual pad, you know, something like a tap sync uh, or maybe the Unity hot button that's coming out. And I can activate the illuminator and the laser at the same time. And so that's a nice option uh, for somebody who doesn't necessarily want to spend the money on uh, a combined laser illuminator uh, unit, you know, something like a D2 or a mall or something like that. Um, plus, uh, the other thing that's nice about running this thing with a uh, with the pressure switch or even just with the button is if you're using a, uh, a clip on night vision device, you know, for magnification, um, by having these elevation and windage adjustments, you can dial this thing in so it matches, um, you know, your eye box with your scope you know, through your clip-on. And then this will give you a lot of range. Um, so here's some videos of what this thing looks like. I'll show you what it looks like with the filter on it. And then also what it looks like without the filter. 50 yards ahead here is a steel silhouette target. Uh, this is a helmet light just to light up the area so you can see what we're looking at with some better light. And then first up is gonna be the Luna with the filter in place at the maximum power setting. And uh, keep in mind, this is on a no moon night. Um, so it definitely lights up the target, uh, but it's still pretty dim, especially for a dark night like this. The tube I'm using in this video, it's an older tube from 1996, uh, probably Omni 3 to Omni 4 uh, specs. It's a 10160 format tube, uh, no gain control, non-auto gated, and as you can see, it still works really good. All right, here I'm just uh, adjusting the output of the laser from you know, the biggest setting or the widest setting down to pointer size. And as you can see with the filter in place, it looks a lot like most other iSafe uh, laser pointers. All right, so I took the filter off, and now this is going to be uh, the Luna with the filter removed, the widest setting at maximum power. And as you can see, that's a pretty noticeable difference in output. Adjusting it down to pointer size, you can definitely see that this thing is a lightsaber. So here's an example of the benefits of the potentiometer uh, you know, power knob on the Luna 
because you can adjust the uh, output brightness of the laser quite a bit. Fine tune it to how you want it. So here's a Steiner D-Ball D2. It's an LED based uh, IR illuminator and this is set to the Titus setting. And this is just to show you the difference between the laser and the LED. You know, the LED has a lot more spillover compared to the laser. Um, now with the D2, there's only two power outputs. Uh, there's this one and then there's a higher setting. So you don't have the ability to, uh, to adjust the power output. Here's the wider setting on the D2 and then just the pointer. And here's a side-by-side -side of the Luna filter and no filter. As you can see from the videos, this thing works very good. Uh, just keep in mind that once you take the filter out, it's no longer eye safe. So you want to be careful where you're pointing it at. Um, even be careful getting bounce backs off of something. Because uh, taking a strike from this thing into your night vision device will definitely damage your tube. And so for that reason, I always keep the lens cap on it. And I always make sure that the power is turned off all the way. And when I'm not using it, I'll take the battery out of it just to be extra safe. Uh, so if you're in the market for a, an infrared illuminator, uh, this is one I definitely recommend taking a look at. And thanks for watching.